Okay, folks, it's going to be a quick uh, unboxing, installation, and a quick review of our Sport Rack 4 bike platform hitch rack. That's the style of a uh, platform it's going to be, where the bikes sit in these cradles here. And there's a better picture of it there on the box. Let's get at it. First things first, let's open up the box. And there you go, that's one way of doing it. Here are all the parts inside. That's gonna go to the hitch receiver, I, I figure. And uh, let's get some tools, find the instructions and put this stuff together. So as you can see all the parts are, are here these are the two main mounts this one and this one in the box these are the four foam covered uh, J hooks to go on top of the uh, bar of the bike these are some um, screw down fasteners and these are the four there are actually eight of them there's four on this side and four on this side of the actual uh, tire cradles, I guess you can call them. And this is the hitch itself that goes into the receiver of the car, as you can see on this side here. And uh, this, I'm not sure what this part is, but all the parts are here. Let's put it together. Of note when you're putting these on make sure this one is a large hook as you can see it's longer than than this one this one is a is a short hook according to the instructions always put the large hook on the bottom as you can see here then you slide these tire racks onto the bottom rails and you just hand tie them for now because Depending on the size of your bike and the wheels, these will slide up and down on the rails here. Do this four times. So as you can see, we have all the wheel carriers there on this side and then on this side here. And then the, the hooks, the top hooks. So it looks like it's all assembled. Let's see what else we have to do. So as you can see, for carrying purpose and storage purpose, they fold up all three pieces. This uh, top end with the hooks and these two uh, ends here on the side for the tires they fold up neatly like this let me show you how you do this because i'm going to do it for all of them so i can uh take this over to the car now because it's going to be heavy and cumbersome if i don't okay they just swivel up like that and hinge up and then they have these pins and as you can see on each pin has a little notch on the top side of it and it corresponds to the hole has a notch also so you just find the way it is slide it in it'll only go in one way and then just turn it down and it locks in that way the pin can't come out either unless the pin is straight up. Due to the side ones too here. The last one here. As you can see there, there's the pin. And you turn it down. And if you zoom out, as you can see, all together in one unit. Let's take this over to the car now. And of course the assembly comes with this locking pin for the receiver. The pin, this receiver pin, and it's threaded as you can see here because inside 
there is threaded to a little cotter pin for the other side to lock it in. So you just put it in, thread it all the way. It's got a lock washer and a regular flat washer on it also. Put it on hand tight. And on the other side, you just put the cotter pin in, just like that. And it's locked. And now when it's time to uh, fold it down, you just take the pin out by putting it the same way the little notch is, pulling it out, sliding it down, and then there's a new notch, there's a new hole here where the pin goes in. Same kind of a key-shaped notch. Put it in, turn it down. You've got these little tether straps, which is, which is really good so you can't lose it. And then it's in. The beauty with this is uh, these top holes can uh, stow down and fold down so you can open up the not in this particular uh, RAV4 but if you have a hatchback or anything that has a lift gate you can open it up let me show you how to do this same way you take the pins out just like that take the pin out drop it then it folds down do the same thing on the other the back one drop the pin that also folds down that simple one quick note when I put these uh, bars on these hooks I have them on the wrong way. They actually should be like like this. One should be facing the front of the vehicle, one should be facing the back. I'll have to switch these ones around. Now let's try putting a bike on there. And there you have it folks, that is the Sport Rack 4 bike uh, mount, as you can see here. It sits in the little cradles there and it is that easy to install, put together and uh, put onto your hitch. Carry four bikes, take a whole family biking for the day. Thanks for watching.